In this video, let's talk about your 30 second business pitch. Some people call it your elevator pitch. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. Doesn't matter, it's it, the, the shortest way you can explain your business and you will use it multiple times a day, every day, if you're doing your job as an entrepreneur, because anyone you talk to, potential business partners, potential investors, anyone who just asks in a conversation, you meet somebody at a bar, and they're like, hey, so what do you do? And you, you, you got to give them your pitch so that it's clear and interesting because nobody wants to hear confusing, rambling, talking about yourself because most of the time, first time entrepreneurs, they love to talk about their ideas. They're like, well, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a billion dollar idea. Me, me, me. I am so great. I'm so great. My idea is so great. Nobody wants to be on the receiving end of that. So you want to be clear and have your pitch fit naturally into a conversation so it doesn't kill the conversation. If it's not for them, like let's say your business is a cleaning business, if they don't need it, they're not gonna become your client. But if it's for them and you're clear and you're brief, you'll stop and you'll give them a chance to ask you questions for maybe more. Then of course you can have a good conversation about it because it's an equal conversation that you're both enjoying. And of course, clarity and brevity, it's your first goal. Your next level goals is just to be inspiring or funny. That just makes it more memorable. But don't try to do it in the beginning. Just try to be clear and brief and at least a little bit interesting. That's actually already very hard. So I'm going to give you a pitch template. This is from Adero Resi, who's a very su successful entrepreneur and founder of the Founder Institute, which is a startup incubator. And he's got this pitch that I'm going to give you this template and then I'm going to give you examples. So right after this video, you'll have like a maybe a 10, 15 second pitch that's even shorter than 30 seconds and it will be effective and clear and that's it. So here's the pitch. The first sentence is my company is XYZ, right? That's it. Is developing something or if it's already in business, has a product or service, say what product or service it is, like maybe a cleaning service. Okay. Then you say who it helps. In the case of a cleaning business, it might be residential cleaning, it might be offices, if the problem you're solving isn't clear, then you say with what problem you're solving. In this case, it's obvious what problem you're solving. So some of these sentences you can even at times skip. And then you say with this unique approach. So if you have a unique approach, then you mention it here. If you're secretive about this business, you don't have to give away your secret, but really essentially the unique approach is where you might be secretive or private. So this is a template you can try to use and Let's go over it. I'm going to give you two examples of different kinds of businesses so that you will get a feel for it and hopefully you will create your own. The first example is an example of my own mobile app company. My company is problemio.com that built a mobile app series that helps entrepreneurs start a business, avoid pitfalls and get guidance along the way by offering live expert help. The live expert help is like, you know, the secret sauce, how, how I'm different. You see how tight it is? Obviously, I don't know your subjective experience to receiving this pitch, but I can say this in approximately 10 seconds or 15 seconds, and it gives a lot of clarity. Another thing I do when people ask me, so what do you do? Literally in one sentence, I say, I run a company that creates and sells educational products for entrepreneurs. It's literally one sentence. So it's even less than this. And people go like, oh, and then they ask more questions. And, they, you know, and so the conversation flows and I don't take up too much of the conversation space. So you can play around with the phrasing depending on who you're talking to. Because if it's just a convers casual conversation, you want to be more brief. If it's an investor, you really want to compel them. So... Let's go over another company. So this is a mobile app. The next company will be a restaurant, something very different. Restaurant, let's say I'm starting a gourmet Italian restaurant that serves high-end Italian food, obviously, to people who appreciate better quality food and can afford it. Then comes the line, who are you helping? And it's really for people who appreciate better food and can afford it. And the reason we're starting this is because there's lack of gourmet food in some upscale neighborhood. That's the opportunity. And our secret sauce or our differentiation is we have a world-class chef. But I would shorten this by literally I'm starting a gourmet Italian restaurant in such and such neighborhood that is an upscale neighborhood but has a low number of high-end high restaurants, especially Italian restaurants. 
and we have a world-class head chef on staff. I mean, literally just a couple of sentences and you can shuffle around the phrasing of it so it's more cadent, so that it flows better off your tongue and you can play around with different variations of it so that you can see responses on people's faces when you tell them. But essentially, this template helps you not to go wrong and stay clear and not ramble on for five minutes because that's the worst. So in any 